Hey friends, my name is Jake. Welcome to Canadian Cutting Edge, a short video about a short little device. Add-on thumb studs. Really good for like big knives like the 110 by Buck. <laughs> for some reason I was trying to figure out what the number was. Yeah, the Buck 110 or new pocket knives even. Uh, sometimes knives have flippers. Maybe you want it to be a thumb stud deployment instead. For, for whatever reason, uh, maybe you got a cheap knife and the thumb stud is just very uncomfortable and you want to swap it out to something else. Well, you can buy replacement thumb studs completely, you know, that go through little holes. But for slip joint knives, very often thumb studs can be a really cool, cool add-on. And uh, I've got some cheap ones that I got from China through AliExpress, uh, like 50 cents a piece roughly. Uh, but you can pay the same thing for Chinese ones. You can pay $8 Canadian on Amazon.ca or $6.99 by $8.99. So yeah, $7 American for the same thing made in China on Amazon.com. So if you can't wait, if you want to get them real quick, buy them from Amazon.com. But if you can wait a little while, uh, and shipping's very cheap, two bucks, I think. And I bought a whole bunch of them. I bought like seven or eight, nine of them uh, from China through AliExpress. If you're interested in a solution like this, stick around. Let's take a look at the one that's here on my uh, 110. You can see that there's a little uh, grippy section here, a little bit of knurling on it. And the other end doesn't have anything. And that end has got the set screw. I can still use it on this side. It's big enough for me to open left-handed that way. And uh, it's not rough anywhere, but it's just sort of smooth. And this side's got the texture, so it's a little bit better on the right hand. Now, I've not seen any that have this texture on both sides. Uh, they should be able to make that, no problem, but I haven't seen them that way. And most people are, you know, one-handed. They're either right-handed or left-handed. I have seen some that don't have any of this knurling on it. Uh, this side being nice and smooth, that side's the same way. So that's easy to find. The other thing is most of them, uh, maybe all of them that I found so far, I haven't double checked all the measurements. They're designed for uh, blades that are an eighth of an inch thick or maybe a bit less. That's about three millimeters or a little bit less. That's what they work best for. I'm sure somebody makes them for smaller ones in different sizes, but that's what you have to look for. Comes in these colors, the brass or bronze kind of color, or black. Or just regular satin, metal, steel kind of color. I'll just call that satin. You get them in little baggies like this, where you've got the uh, thumb stud, your set screw, and a little Allen key for it. At least that's how, you know, all of mine came. <laughs> and uh, they're very simple, easy to use. Now, the Allen key, you know, fits in there, at least on these sets. And these are the ones I'm going to have links for on AliExpress so that you know you're getting the same thing. Uh, and the set screw is also made black. So uh, you don't have to worry about something that's not black sticking out. It's a fairly coarse thread. So what that means is I would strongly suggest that you use something like VC3 Threadmate or uh, some other thread locker in there once you've got it in the positioning that you really want it permanently on, on your knife. Uh, don't use it the first time you put it on because that your thumb stud positioning might not be where you want it. I tested it out on a few different places. I'm still not totally happy with where it is right now, but I can totally deploy the knife uh, with a smooth, simple movement. Uh, when it was a little bit higher up, it was a little more harder. When it was over here, my thumb couldn't reach far enough. I tried it in a lot of different places. The other thing you have to be uh, aware of is uh, the set screw will rub and turn while it's rubbing on the uh, flat of your blade which means it can scuff it up. You can scratch it up and make marks. 
So be prepared for that. Don't use this unless you're prepared to put little marks on your blade. That's why I'd probably put it on just reasonably tight or relatively tight, whatever you want to call it, uh, until you find the position where you really like to keep it permanently. And in that position is when you use the thread locker or thread mate and you tighten it up nice and tight. So that's all it is. It's really simple, little things. Uh, the black, I should tell you, I uh, wanted to see if this would scuff up. So I put it on a knife uh, and I rubbed on it a lot with my thumb. I even took um, a rough cloth, uh, not quite sandpaper or anything, and I scuffed on it for quite a bit. You can see that it's, well, maybe you can see, it's a little more polished on one section from all that rubbing than the rest of it. So over time, I think the black will wear it. This, this is just a black anodization that they put on here. Uh, the bronze one hasn't wore that much, but I'm sure it's just regular metal underneath there, maybe not even stainless steel. And uh, that's gonna rub off as well. If you don't want any of that stuff to rub off, then buy the satin one, because the satin one's not gonna change over time. Uh, it might get a little bit polished on it from you rubbing the same spots all the time. So where else would this work? Let me show you. Here's another knife that I tried it on. My uh, worker. Very smooth action on this guy because it's got ball bearings in there. So it's not having to push hard like the big strong back spring on this guy. Uh, it doesn't fit back in the sheath quite right. So I did this. I made one where I rounded it over and now it fits okay in the sheath. It's not perfect and I'd probably redo it again. I didn't do it while it was on the knife either. I just put it onto a piece of steel that I had. It works great to, uh, you know, deploy it and uh, can easily do, you know, everything one-handed. Uh, I would, of course, you know, try to clean it up really nice and make it nice and smooth and look proper, but this was just a proof of concept. So that's just another idea. You can do it on anything. It doesn't necessarily work that well on full flat grinds. Uh, it works best on flat uh, steel that's flat and not on an angle. But you might be able to get it to work on a you know full flat grind. I just can't say for sure if it will or not. I tried it and I wasn't happy with it, but other people might be. I almost forgot to mention another advantage of these. It's your thumb has a place to push against when you're pushing instead of just the thickness of the blade or thinness, usually about, you know, three mil, like I said, it gives you an extra little bit extra. Uh, you can put more pressure on with your thumb uh, when you're cutting stuff more comfortably than just with that. You know, unless your thumbs are super callous and stuff, I found that that really makes a good difference. It's one of the reasons why I like knives with thumb discs. Um, you know, here I've got it on a uh, little Ganzo. This is an old Ganzo, the F, uh, what's the number here? 6802. And uh, I like it better than the hole because the hole's pretty small and it just didn't work that good. I, can, I don't do the bottom flick thing very well anyways, but it comes on there and clickety click, it's open easily and my thumb's got a spot to rest. One other thing I should tell you, uh, when you're putting it on, let me uh, do it here. I'll take this one off just to demonstrate. So now it's loose. It's just loose. You put it on there. Uh, don't just sort of hold it there lightly and, you know, hold it in proper place you want it and then just tighten it up. I'll try to get it done here. There you go. Because inevitably, inevitably that'll happen right there. See that space across the top? You don't want that. You want it to sit flush. So it's best to do it knife closed. <laughs> and uh, which way is it? Yep, this way. Double check which side you got the knurling on. And hold it closed, put your thumb on there. And now I'm pushing hard with my thumb because I don't want it to move. Now I'm going to use the tip of my thumb for the last little bit. 
And notice there's still a bit of space there, but that's because the blade's coming back uh, that way, but it's smaller than it was before. It's just because of the way uh, this turns. If they would have done reverse thread, then it would pull down on this side. As you can see right there, that side is tight, and this side is just the tiniest bit loose. I know what you're thinking. That's cool, but what about if I want my knife to open sort of automatically when I pull it out of my pants, like the Emerson Wave? Well, there's those as well, but I've not found these at any Chinese vendor yet. This one is uh, by a brand called Snaggletooth. Get that reflection off there. Snaggletooth, uh, don't be left toothless. I did a review of this guy already. I've got this on my Ontario Rat 1. And the screw is a big hex screw here, and it's starting to, it's starting to chip a little bit in there, but it works great as a thumb stud deployment still, and it uses the hole that was in the thumb stud. So for this, you need a hole. Uh, you need a blade that's already got a thumb stud hole. Uh, and then it's just an adjustable. It can go, it's variable, so the hole doesn't have to be at a very specific spot in relation to the spine. It's got a range of distance that it can be. And then it just works really fine. And you can watch the video of where I tested this out. Uh, you can see I use this knife a fair bit. It's a little bit dirty. These cheap thumb studs, if you want these, these are just cheap like borscht from AliExpress. Uh, maybe less expensive than borscht. <laughs> so I'd really appreciate it if you use my links. They are referral links that I do earn a tiny bit of an income off of. Uh, so thanks so much. Thanks for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. And remember, friends, always cut towards your chum, not your thumb.